Hey, what's up guys? DJ Lefebvre here with another quick tutorial. This time we're going to do a beginner's approach to voice meter banana. Uh, you see that on the screen right here. What is voice meter banana? Well, quite simply, it is an incredible free piece. I won't say free. It's donationware. So you guys, if you like this tool, support uh, VV Audio and, and give them some money. I, I know I've, I've thrown them a couple bucks along the way. It's been a really cool program to have. It is a virtual mixing software that allows you to route a whole bunch of cool things. So if you are a podcaster and you have USB microphones, you can put up to three USB microphones in Voice Meter Banana and record locally on one machine. If you're a DJ or if you're another type of producer, you can take and route different types of audio all across this. Now, this thing does a lot. It does so much stuff. Um, it can be very overwhelming. And I've had a couple comments so far based on my other tutorials and said, hey, give me an overview. So here you go. This is your quick overview. So what you're gonna see on the left here, this is all your hardware inputs, hardware inputs. So if you have a USB mic or if you have um, virtual cables routing stuff within your system, you're not going to see it the way I currently have it set up. But when you left click right here on your on your line, you get to select a, a list of all of your available options come up. Um, so just what I'm looking at right now is I have my my audio interface, which is a Zoom L8 mixer. You can have USB mic set up here, virtual audio cables, um, your webcam if it has a, a, a a microphone on it they all show up here when you left click down so this whole we'll call it a channel right this is your hardware input for your channel to the left is the sound waves coming in and out so this increases your volume a lot it increases the gain and then you can drop and my, my voice goes away right so that's the first step connect your hardware so connect your hardware and select it I'm not going to get into uh, these other options just yet but know that there are quite a few um, different options you have here. If you right click in the pane, you can mess around with them. They, they change the sound of your voice and the, the panning position of, of where you are in the room. So if you want to have a left and a right for two people on a podcast, left ear, right ear, uh, you can make those changes right here with just a right click within this box. Um, right here is the noise gate. So if you increase that, you can drown out a lot of the sounds and it'll pick up uh, very faint sounds of audio. Um, I fortunately have a physical mixer, so I use that to control a lot of my sounds. To the right-hand side right here, you have um, different letters, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2. A1, A2, A3, those route to, in this top right, you have hardware output. When you click the down bu button again, again, OBS doesn't allow me to show you the drop-downs, but each one of those is a particular hardware out that you would have, whether it's your speakers or back to your mixer, or if you had a... Um, Let's say you're a DJ, you have a DDJ-SZ. It would show the, the ASIO driver there, the ASIO driver, or AUSIO. You guys let me know which, how do you say it? ASIO or AUSIO? <laughs> All right, so when I click here in particular, A1 is now going to go, my, my hardware input 1 goes over to A1. A1 would be, let's just say, my speakers. So now when I'm speaking with my USB device, it is outputting on that hardware device. Um, you can also have other different outputs like virtual audio cables, but there's a better way to do it, says VB Audio. They, they, they told me, hey, we like your videos, but this is something the way you can do it better. So I appreciate you guys, VB, VB Audio. And again, I'll put in, in the description where to find this software, download, install it. It installs the software, and it also installs some of the additional sound drivers, the virtual audio cables and the auxiliary virtual inputs for you. So A1, A2, A3, go to your hardware, in, hardware outs right here. Um, B1, B2, head over to this row right here. These are your virtual outs, uh, virtual outs, B1 and B2, and, and those are auxiliary, auxiliary outs, uh, very similar to your virtual inputs. So you have inputs right here virtually, the voice meter VAIO and the vo voice meter auxiliary. Um, this is the in from software programs. This is the out to software programs. So th they're, they're quite interchangeable. So right now I'm going, I'm sending my signal over to B2. B2 is over here. Now, if I were to have an input from a, another software program, let's say I wanted to get audio from YouTube. And then what you're going to do is go to your, um, your system sound settings, right? Your sound systems on a PC. It's in the bottom right of your screen. Click the little sound button right here. And now you go through your, your options and you can select the voice meter auxiliary input. Um, or the auxiliary input right here. 
So now that my auxiliary input is set there, all of my system sounds are going to be going to the auxiliary input right here. So by just making that simple change, you do not have to, but you can, you do not have to go into the uh, Microsoft Windows sound settings, but you'll notice that all of the options are in here. You've got, um, I sprung for a couple of extra virtual cables right there, and then you have the auxiliary input and the voice meter input. The only thing that this is really uh, particularly good for is when you're in this area and you right click on it and you open up the properties, um, I, Again, you can't see it, but then you can change the advanced level. Let me go go add that to my screen real quick. Um, very, very quick here. We're going to add that. Okay, so now it is in our screen. When you right-click on a particular um, audio uh, playback device, click in the advanced screen. In the advanced screen, you can pick the sample rate. All of your sample rates should be the same. That's how um, it it. It, it sounds the best. You won't get any any the latency or, or, or the echo feedback and whatnot. Um, so here, I, I do all of mine at 24-bit, 44, 100 hertz. Now, for those who are afraid if that's going to cause coronavirus or not, well, then fear not. That's not how the electromagnetic spectrum works. <laughs> all right, so we'll take that off the board right there. We'll take that off the board. Those are just extra places where you can see where it's going to go down. All right, so in, in your voice meter... Your hardware inputs send over to your 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 mixing out right your mixing out is going to, oh you can't see where my little mouse is right there because i have the display capture open so right here i'm sending to b2 it's going over there to b2 now if i were to have <clears throat> use the same example audio coming from youtube it's going to come in my, on my auxiliary and now i'm going to send it out to b2 by clicking this so now my sounds are mixed down. I'm, ha I'm having sound from hardware input, and I'm now having sound from a software input, and it's going to put them both out onto one channel. Now, if you're using OBS to, to broadcast something, then you can just select that as your input to your streaming software. Um, very, very simple to do. Now, you can also record within this itself. So if you're just doing an audio broadcast, you can do uh, redundant uh, backup recording. You can send this out your mixed down version out. Imagine to you had a three USB mics for, for three guests on a, a podcast that you're doing. You send them all out to B2 just by clicking B2, B2. Now they're going out. You have another software program playing your your jingle music coming in right here. Send that out to B2. You now have four channels of audio going out on this one signal. So you can record it here, and then you can also input that into say audacity another free awesome awesome software that i'm sure i'll get around to making some uh some videos for so that that is the high level overview of voice meter banana and kind of what its capabilities you then have the ability to do equalizing you got you got highs mids lows um, if you left click here you can change the different kind of mix down that, that they'll offer if you right click um Oh, no, in the menu section, again, you can't see the drop down right now because that's just our limitations that we're currently at. But you'll see a whole bunch of other different great settings within there. Now, I can dive down into this if you guys have, end up having any more questions uh, about the program. But very simply, hardware in, hardware out is your A1, A2, A3. And then your software out is going to be your B1, B2 channels. And then your software in is going to be in your virtual inputs. So whatever your system sound settings are, that would feed directly into your virtual inputs. So all you have to do is just change your, just simply change your system sound. That's it. Very, very simple. Um, and that's it. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Denville Radio. I'm DJ LaFay with your quick tips. Out.